Nigel, that's a result that uh, pleases you. Very pleased. Uh, yes. Andy, from your perspective, um, Arsenal naive or City brave? A little bit of both, I think. I think I don't think City played particularly well. I don't think they did against Brentford, but like champions do, they get the they got the job done in the last two games, six points without really being at their best. So that's a positive. Um, I thought they were a little fortunate. I thought big decisions went their way at the at the right time. Big moments went their way at the right time. And this is just, I mean, this is fortunate because the shot could go anywhere off the off the defender. I think it's Ben White who blocks it. It could go anywhere, Richard, and it drops straight at Rodri's feet, six yards out. So that's what I mean about, you, you need things like that to go your way. And cities they did for City today. Yeah. But Arsenal's indiscipline surely was a factor. A discipline, yeah, for sure. If you see how they, how, how they, Ended the game as well on 10 men, you know, an unnecessary second yellow card for Gabriel, what is not needed, especially, you know, um, in the situation that they were in. And they were still in the game, it mm -hmm. was only 1-1, one -one. it was Very not much. that they were losing, so they were still in the game. And then you make an error like that as an uh, experienced defender for Arsenal. Well, it's not an error, is it? It's a big error. It's, yeah, a, it's, a, it's a, a huge a misjudgment. It's a piece of stupidity. Yeah, but if you're already error. on a yellow, if you're on a yellow card, you you cannot do that. No, I mean, that's, well, that's, that's my point. That's, that's yeah. what I say. It's, it's, an an error. Error. it's an error. It's a mistake. It's a big. It's a big mistake by an by a central defender who is normally a regular starter for Arsenal. I mean, and this We've was straight ninety seconds earlier. And this exactly. And this was straight after the save of Ake of the of the goal line as well. So yeah. they had the momentum, and then you do that. It was the second yellow, yeah. Yeah, second yellow. Was it yeah. a straight red? No, no, no. no. no he got booked for. And I know he had, but, that, but what I'm saying, I didn't see a yellow come out. Did he take the yellow out? That's what I'm trying to say. Was, was it a? Was, was it a straight, straight red? It wouldn't matter any difference. It was a yellow card. No, he's going anyway. He was going anyway. No, we're all was... fairly certain. I think it was a second yellow mm, before right. the red was shown. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that was stupid, idiotic, and I think particularly as they've been doing really well. Mm. You know, yeah. he just gets done with a little bit of skill. Turns it around the corner and he's going to win. There's absolutely no need. They're in the centre circle. There's three defenders the behind yellow. them. And here's the red. There's yeah. the red, yeah. Right, yeah. 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 No he can't have an argument. I don't know what he's arguing about. Yeah, but there's no need for him. Look, he's open his body. He's just way too late. Yeah, just, just leave him go. Go. Let him go. I mean, you're too late. What is, what, what, what is the purpose, and it's become popular, but what is the purpose of actually scuffing a penalty spot? What 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 benefit is there to that? Because Mares, as we saw when he took the pen, just placed the ball a little bit slightly to one side. As long as part of the circumference is over the spot, mm -hmm. as is the case on the corner yeah. quadrangle, then then it's legal. Mm -hmm. but so doing, what are you trying to achieve? It's just it's just to try to get the player that that actually takes the penalty, get him out of his concentration. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing about it. I mean, how many times you see players going in front of in front of the player that that takes the penalty and lobbying left and right, just take the take the concentration away. Goalkeepers doing the same instead of staying in his goal he's doing that so it makes no sense you get you get booked for something silly like that and then you take a second booking as well for a foul you don't even have to commit I mean that's just uh, that's just dumb and I think uh, Arteta won't be happy no, with, no. His, uh, with his central defender in this situation penalty I think it was penalty yeah I okay. think it was penalty I ask you first because I, I think you've got an interesting take on it for us Andy you see the, the PGM PGMOL mm -hmm. they, they they wrap themselves up and all these sorts of excuses, Richard, and eventually it comes back and, and bites them. Now, there's no doubt he has a, a chunk of his shirt. I'm, no one's arguing that. And that there's been contact. A little bit, I think. There's not, well, there's not, look, there. There's yeah, but two no, knees that's, come together. That's, that, not enough yeah. for a penalty for me, yet, yeah, right. honestly. Because of, that, because of that first one, he's already going down. He's going down, yeah. yeah. Now, when we... Uh, I think it was Harry Maguire at, at Old Trafford two or three weeks ago was caught pulling somebody's shirt mm -hmm. from a corner, mm -hmm. let it go. There's a, there's a scuff there happening. So, so they let it go, Richard. And then we asked them, we called them and said, why did you not give a penalty there? Why did P. Vard not get involved? And they said, well, it didn't get involved because so, a, a player can pull a player's shirt as long as he lets go quickly. And we've gone on the day, we're thinking, that's ridiculous. What do you mm -hmm. mean as long as he lets go? Mm -hmm. So there is a classic example of Xhaka, got the shirt, let it go. So why is it a penalty this week and it wasn't a penalty two weeks ago? Well, it was two weeks ago, but they were looking for an excuse as to why they had failed Correct. two weeks ago. Yeah. You yeah. can't grab a shirt and then let go and it's okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's a penalty today, isn't it? Of course, it is a yeah. penalty. And there, is see contact, that. there is earlier contact. Yeah, Look, he's fallen dramatically, but there's contact there. 
and then he feels the call, is, and then he goes over. I mean, this but is this is only the VAR trying to make a decision based on what they're seeing, right? I think the one to blame is is Chaka in this situation. Oh yeah, he gives him the option to go down. Why he give him an option in two fouls in one situation right there to give him to give him the option to go down? You know, Silva is a crafty player. Yeah. He will go the outside of you. In the first play, or in the first situation. 